Hello everybody, my name is uh, Lo Zi Heng. I am the Deputy Head for Academics in the Division of Chemistry and Biological Chemistry, School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences in NTU. So today I'm happy to tell you about our academic program uh, in NTU Chemistry. So, so maybe uh, some of you will recognize uh, the faces that show up on this slide. Uh, they are all uh, famous people. Well, here, here are their names. Uh, you might recognize some of them. You know, this, we have the Iron Lady, the Prime Minister of, of the United Kingdom. We have the current Chancellor of um, Germany. Uh, the founding president of Israel, uh, CIA director, FBI director, even the Pope, uh, some of our local you know, ministers, politicians, founder of High Flux, uh, founder of Intel, uh, sci-fi writer, the person who invented the dynamite. So all of them studied chemistry. Um, so today I would like to tell you about some of the degree programs we have in NTU Chemistry. So every year we enroll roughly 200 uh, undergraduate students. Uh, we run a four-year uh, direct honors uh, program, meaning everybody uh, gets a chance to graduate with an honors degree after four years. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a BSc, Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry and and biological chemistry. Uh, that's what most of our students join. Uh, for those who are more ambitious, uh, we have a couple of second major programs. The first one is a second major in food science and technology. So um, this program is actually being run in, in collaboration with multiple schools in NTU, such as the School of Biological Sciences and also the School of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, SCBE. Um, but the, the biggest partner in this uh, joint venture actually is uh, a university in the Netherlands that is famous for food science. This is uh, Wageningen University and Research. Now, uh, this year, we are also very excited to roll out a brand new uh, second major. This is the second major uh, in environmental science. So this is a joint program with the NTU Asian School of the Environment. Uh, as well as the School for Civil and Environmental Engineering uh, in the College of Engineering of NTU. Um, so both of these are very uh, selective programs. Uh, typically, we admit roughly 10 to 15 students every year into the second major program in, in food science and technology. And uh, for the second major in environmental science, uh, we are actually capping it at an intake of around five students uh, every year. So as you can see, this is, this is very uh, exclusive. Now, um, I will tell you a little bit about the um, the, the structure of the program, but, but let me first show you this pie chart. So this pie chart shows you that you basically need 133 um, AUs, or what we call academic units, uh, to graduate. And of these uh, 133 AUs, um, roughly 60% of them comes from just chemistry courses. Okay, the, the, the remaining 40% comes from these university-wide uh, core modules and you know, unrestricted electives as well. So what do our students uh, cover in their four years in CBC NTU? So here are some courses. Uh, these are the core modules, basically, at a glance. And in the first year, you know, you, you, you basically everybody takes the same bunch of courses in inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, um, physical chemistry. Um, and all of these uh, come with labs, uh, and, and students also need to take this biochemistry course as well. Now, at the end of their first year, they can elect to do um, what we call summer research and actually get credit for that. So in addition to coursework, you know, there's quite a bit of lab component, both in the instruction uh, teaching laboratories and also in the research laboratory. Um, now, in the second year, it's more of the same. You know, they have, um, but of course, more, much more advanced courses, you know, analytical chemistry, uh, inorganic, organic, um, physical, and so on. 
Um, and then in the second year, they start to take some of these uh, full-time lab courses. Uh, so they have in the first semester the synthetic uh, organic inorganic chemistry lab. In, in the second semester, um, they have the physical analytical lab. And then in the third year, you know, the same pattern uh, kind of repeats, and but the course titles change somewhat to reflect, uh, you know, the, the advancement in, in, in the knowledge of our students. Um, and then in the fourth year, that's when they can really start to specialize. Um, they can opt to take these uh, major uh, prescribed electives. These are very advanced uh, courses, uh, often covering contemporary topics in chemistry, different sub-disciplines of chemistry. Um, and then as part of the graduation requirement, students are required required to take um, either the final year project um, or undertake a professional internship uh, in the industry. Both of these are, are, are one semester uh, long. Now, I just want to highlight one thing, which is you know, if you come in with uh, A in your H2 chemistry, um, then you basically get exempted from three uh, first year chemistry modules. So uh, in lieu of these uh, first year chemistry modules, you take an advanced uh, conceptual chemistry uh, module instead. Um, and then if you come in with an A in H2 biology, then you also get exempted from the biochemistry uh, course. So then, you know, you can save quite a lot of time, actually, and in your first year, um, you can start to take some of these uh, second year uh, courses. And, and, and since we repeat uh, these second year and third year core modules, uh, that really means that you, you have a very good chance of graduating ahead of time, you know, ahead of your peers in, in three and a half years instead of the regular um, four years, so so that also goes uh, to saving some some uh, money as well. Now, I also want to uh, highlight some of these um, major prescribed electives that are offered by CBC. Um, and the list is uh, shown here. You will notice that some of them are highlighted in red. Well, those are the, the newer uh, courses that we have come up with uh, in the past uh, couple of years. Um, and and they, they really reflect our focus on, on, on equipping our undergraduates with, with the most uh, up-to-date uh, knowledge of uh, you know, rapidly evolving fields of chemistry. So for example, nanoscience and nanotechnology, um, pharmaceutical chemistry, you know, um, bioimaging, and, and and then last year, we actually just launched um, AI in chemistry, which is um, you know, a topic that is of high demand, uh, high interest to the industry. Uh, in addition to these prescribed electives, we also offer a bunch of um, unrestricted electives. Now, these are courses that not only CBC students can take, but also uh, students from um, other majors across NTU uh, can enroll in them as well. Uh, so here, you know, we have this analytical and manufacturing techniques in the pharmaceutical industry. This is also a brand new course with a very um, heavy lab component to, to really uh, beef up our, you know, hands-on skills of, of our students. Okay. So out of the classroom, what are some of the opportunities for learning? So, so, so first up is the Overseas Exchange Program. So statistically, you know, more than half of our uh, cohort every year uh, will go on an exchange program, you know, be it a, a one semester long exchange program or, or some, some, somewhat of a you know, exchange program appetizer where they uh, spend about two weeks uh, up to a month uh, abroad, you know, maybe sometimes learning a language. But if you spend a semester abroad, you know, you can and take some real chemistry courses um, and, and, even, and even do research overseas. So a number of our students, for example, uh, do their final year projects um, uh, overseas. Uh, yep, another important component of um, you know, learning outside of the classroom is undergraduate um, research, okay? So um, what many of our undergraduate students do not realize is that they, they are actually embedded you know, uh, and taking classes uh, in, in a world-class chemistry department. I, you, you can look at the ranking numbers, they, they speak for themselves, you know, the QS rankings uh, put us at number nine, the, the Shanghai rankings, or also known as the academic ranking of world universities, puts the chemistry department at 12, um, and the US news um, puts us at number two uh, in the world, uh, you know, joined with 
MIT in this case. So, so, so there are many benefits of, of doing research. You know, aside from doing, you know, experiencing uh, science at a cutting edge, um, you also get to pick up uh, many uh, important, you know, critical thinking skills, creativity, problem solving uh, skills. You know, that that uh, you would not pick up, for example, if you are involved in in some undergraduate uh, teaching lab where you're just following the manual. You know, from step one, step two, step three, step four. In research, you are solving an open-ended problem. So, so this is a very uh, complementary approach to, to, to chemistry education. Yeah. There is another program uh, opportunity that is available to our students. That is a professional internship. So, so by the time our students graduate, you know, um, two thirds of them would have undertaken some sort of a professional uh, internship. This is typically a 20, 22 week uh, long program. The students basically spend one entire semester, well, slightly more than one entire semester. Um, embedded uh, full-time in, in the industry. Okay, so, so shown here is uh, some of the companies that our students uh, uh, regularly do their internships in. Uh, and, and this is a tie-up with the NTU Career um, Attachment Office. Okay, so, so they really help us uh, secure these placements uh, for our students. Um, now, related to the internship, I just want to point out this uh, really, you know, almost brand new program. So this is a program that we are rolling out, uh, we just rolled out last year, so this is the second time we are offering it. It's the co-op education program. So as the name implies, this is a program where we basically, you know, collaborate with uh, the industry to educate our students. Uh, once again, this is a very uh, exclusive program. Uh, there is only a handful number of um, offers that are made um, every year. It's it's a 50 week long program, as you can see from, from the breakdown, 10 plus 10 plus uh, 30 weeks. That basically adds up to almost one year out of your four years in, in, in CBC. So so in this uh, 50 week long program, you know, which is uh, jointly uh, where you get this joint supervision uh, between an industry supervisor and also an NTU supervisor. Yeah, so I, I hope that uh, through this um, briefing, you have a good sense of you know the, the academic program that we offer you in CBC and I look forward to meeting many of you here uh, in August 2020. Thank you very much.